me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come around no invaders them. It's your boy Noto, coming to another video, coming to another podcast, man Today's podcast, we're gonna discuss body game Embrace the hate and continue to lock in if you're new here or you already been here, go and click that like button, go ahead and comment, go and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this topic, guys. First of all, I'd like to shout out OG Rom Wills for coining the term, for going ahead and um, ushering in this whole thing. But I'm going to tell you right now, once you go in and take his advice and once you go ahead and start implementing this, and once you start becoming above average, and once you start seeing changes, bro, you're going to have hate, bro. You are going to face hate. There is no way around it. There is absolutely no way around it, guys. You will face hate. So the best thing to do is to learn how to deal with the hate and embrace the hate. Embrace the hate. Because think about it. We ain't nobody too much hating on you before you started doing this. And not in this fashion. Now you're starting to see people starting to meme mug you. Now you start seeing people wanting to go around you and, and make little funny jokes and snicker at you. But at the same time, that ain't nothing but a physical manifestation of what they aren't doing. They, they have to find a way to be comfortable around you. And in turn of making fun of you, that's the way they have to do it. They have to go around and snicker and laugh. Ha 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 ha, key, key, key. Yeah, that man's in shape. Oh, that's funny. Like, what's funny about a man being in shape? Ain't nothing funny about that. That ain't nothing but a nervous giggle. That's really just just um a reflection of what they w- wish they could be, but they can't do because they don't have the discipline. Don't let nobody ever try to down you for having a good physique, guys. Never let nobody try to down you for trying to get a good physique, for going to the gym, for changing your diet. They'll hate on you for trying to change your lifestyle. They'll hate on you when you try to be like, I'm trying to do better for myself. I'm trying to start to drink water now. Oh, you think you're better than us. Oh, I'm trying to start to hit the gym now. You know, uh, you know, oh, so you going to the gym, so you're better than us. You don't want to go out to the club. You don't want to do that. I'm not saying that you got to give up the club to go to the gym. But it's just saying that, you know, they always try to find any little thing to go at, to come at you for any little change you're trying to make. And I'm going to tell you right now, embrace the hate. That ain't nothing but a, fan, a manifestation of hate. That ain't nothing but a form of hate. Whenever somebody's trying to make fun of anything that you're doing and it's positive, come on now, getting yourself together, getting in the best shape of your life and getting in good health and changing your lifestyle, that is a good thing. That is positivity. And if somebody's trying to make fun of that and somebody's trying to shed bad light on that, somebody trying to make you feel ashamed of that, they're haters. Straight up, there ain't no other way to look at it. Ain't no other way to look at it, man. There's nothing wrong with getting in the best shape of your life. There's nothing wrong with hitting the gym and doing better for yourself. Even if you just want to start, you'll be like, you know what? I want to start making a change. People are going to automatically start hating on you even there because they so, they so used to you doing the regular thing. They're so used to regular you because they know what you, you can do. And if you start to say no to all the things that they're constantly saying yes to that they can't even dream of saying no to, they don't want to put down that ice cream. They don't want to go uh, put down that, that fried chicken. They want to go eat out every day. You might want to go and say, I want to go get some groceries and start cooking my food so I can start watching my calories so I can, you know, start eating all these highly processed foods. Oh, you better than us because you don't want to eat no chips. Oh, yeah. You say chips. No, the chips have to function. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if you don't want to eat the sweets, oh, oh, you better than us because you don't want to eat the sweets and the cake. No, you want to change your lifestyle. So if anybody ever try to shame you for that, first off, give yourself a clap. Give yourself a hand clap because you're doing something and it's starting to make people want to come at you. When people starting to come at you, that means they're starting to see a change in you. Embrace the hate. Embrace the hate. This is what come with it, guys. Everybody be like, oh, I want to run from it. And people want to be in their comfort zone and feel like, oh, since people start to turn on them, they want to they wanna, uh, neglect the goal. Oh, no, don't neglect the goal. That means you're on the right path. So when the people start snickering, people, people start want to make a joke about you, starting to make these little sidebar uh jokes about you backhanded jokes at you about whatever you doing about the stuff you don't want to do but you want to start taking care of yourself might want to start taking care of your skin might want to start having a, a better routine and and looking good and going outside and uh going to the gym and lifting weights doing some push-ups even if you can't even do no pull-ups trying to do some pull-ups they'll laugh at you trying for trying to do pull-ups people were trying to laugh at me because i couldn't even do two at first i was struggling to get them but I eventually, I started getting them. I used to do one or two a day or one or two an hour that I could do. And then it started progressing from there, aggressive from there, aggressive from there. They ain't laughing now because I'm pumping them out now. 
You see what I'm saying? They still might try to make a little joke. So what you doing? Are you acting like you a jailbird? Hey, they gonna find any little thing to find to try to downgrade anything that you are. And when people are trying to tear you down, that means you too far up. They can't tear something down that ain't up. Embrace the hate, guys. Embrace the hate, man. Embrace it, bro. I'm telling you, continue to lock in. Don't stop your goals. Don't stop what you're doing, bro. You are on the right path. When people start acting funny, when people start doing little funny stuff around you, when, when women start uh, gravitating towards you as well, or women might even start being haters too. It's just a lot of hating women out there too. It's a lot of hating men. They'll make guard, try to grab their woman. Physical man, a face station of hate because they feel like you're going to take their girl. So they trying to do little, little um, bitch made moves to try to hold on to their girl, kiss their girl in front of you, slap her ass in front of you you doing good bro embrace that hate because he feel uncomfortable around you yeah you making that man feel uncomfortable he got to hold his girl he feel like he feel like his girl he feel like his status with his woman is in danger even though you probably didn't he didn't spent way more time with this woman than than you than you in that regular encounter like a thousand times over many many hours with this woman but that one encounter is making him feel like he gonna lose what he got oh yeah embrace the hate embrace the hate if you because because he on guard duty he gonna forever be on guard duty that is a full-time job guys that is a full-time job that you never clock out of and if you got dudes doing that embrace the hate that's hate that's hate I'm like man this man gonna tell my girl who you think he who you think he is but i'm still i'm a block up path i'm a block away I mean, yeah you're gonna have guys doing that blocking blocking away when they see you coming they're gonna come they're gonna come around if the, if the woman facing you they're gonna come around and try to face them and talk to them or my favorite one too they try to point off into another direction and stuff like that like oh look at this building look over there look over there you know you know just to try to get them to look the other way yeah that's funny yeah they be doing that embrace the hate guys and praise the hate when you got guys coming over there trying to outlift you in the gym oh yeah trying to lift way heavier weight than you yeah yeah <laughs> when they see the girls gravitating when you over there working out at the gym they trying to come over there and outdo you oh yeah embrace the hate embrace the hate give yourself a hand clap pat on the back pat on the shoulder can't read the back right now. i can't pat on the back <laughs> Cause they gonna be doing that bro these signs right here take these and embrace these guys you gotta embrace the hate because if you forever try to be like oh i'm trying to address this i'm mad about this why they doing this i'm tired of this and i'm tired of that that's how i was at first i ain't gonna lie that's how i was at first but i'm gonna tell you right now that's a full-time job too because everywhere you go you're above average you can't correct everything that you peep bro you can't you can't address everything you peep bro i'm telling you now that's a full-time job you ain't never gonna clock out of never you got to embrace the fact that you are above average and people are going to feel some type of way when you walk into any room or any space anywhere. Understand that. You are not normal anymore. You ain't normal no more. I don't give a damn what stage you're in. As soon as you even change your mindset and start make, implementing this move and starting and you and you start developing these habits and, and like I say, you get weeks in and weeks in, you're not normal no more. Even if you ain't made any like visible physical changes, your mindset is going to eventually lead you to that and people don't like that because they're gonna see your actions actions speak louder than words ever will guys ever results they see the results that you're doing they see that you're sticking to it because soon as somebody say they starting to diet what are they used to them doing dropping out as soon as somebody hears somebody say somebody died okay yeah they're going on a diet two weeks later they quit that's what they used to seeing but they ain't used to seeing somebody sticking to the diet after them two weeks after the uh you going two months oh he's still going oh five months later oh he's still going six months later oh he making visible changes he building muscle he getting leaner oh we gotta attack him you gotta keep well, they attacking you the whole long along the way but really they not now you get to the point where people want to start turning on you or you got people that's inspired by you now some people might have fake fake inspiration and fake motivation they just want to get close to you to see what you how you doing what you're doing and then they try it for themselves and they feel like it's too hard and now when they see that it's too hard they don't want to be around you no more i didn't have people do that to me i didn't have people do that to me they'll come and they'll get advice right and then they'll try it for themselves but then now all of a sudden i see that they different they used to check in with me a whole lot but now they tried it for themselves they can't do it so now they hate them like people they want to go to the gym and start uh uh doing selfies and or they want to look like pretty boys or they posing in the mirror like these are making making little uh subliminal statuses at me because of my stories that i post on my facebook and my instagram and stuff like that so now they sneak this that's what we call sneak this and they sneak this in uh, after you after they didn't came to you for advice clap it up embrace the hate embrace the hate guys embrace it because you're doing something that a majority of people cannot do, especially in the United States. 
I don't know how it is like that out on the uh, other countries, but I'm pretty sure there is some people do care about a level of fitness. It might not be often in certain areas, but I know one thing: being jacked and being uh being jacked and ev- everywhere I go, being jacked. Bro, and, and I'm in a place where a whole bunch of people come from all over the country, and I get the same reaction from other people. Either they scared, they intimidated, or they'll 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 look mad. And the women, yeah, they'll. I done had women looking at me in front of their boyfriends and all that, but the dudes started getting like frowning real bad. I had on my stringer one time. I came through, and she was just looking like, oh my god, like like her eyes got wide open right in front of her boyfriend, almost like star power. He was trying to hurry up and pull her arm away, and she just stayed right there. I'm telling you, bro, the hate is going to be real because guys don't like that. A lot of these guys are, they're, they're doing, they're simping for these women, bro. I'm telling you right now, they're simping for these women, especially if you see like a, a gym, a hardcore gym looking girl that's fit and she with like a regular looking guy. You have to know it's, it have to be something about money. got to be something about him doing something way more than she's doing something way less. Every time, every time. The physical attraction is never equal. It's always an imbalance there. Every time, I don't give a damn what you say because when you look at a physical, when you look at people's physiques and look at the physical manifestation of their whole relationship and look at their body language, and look at all that when you see them together, you could tell who's wearing the pants in a relationship. When the guys and the, and the woman's walking real confidently in front of the guy and the guy's just sitting there just like acting like he's basking in it, but he just there, bro. I could tell that ain't nothing but a money situation. She's there for the resources. She's not that physically attracted to him, but she's she's attracted to what he can do for her. And that is the contract that they have together. You see what I'm saying? But the moment he tried to change that up, okay, that's when she's going to be like, oh, what, what's going on? This ain't what we, we said. Oh, no, I don't want to take you out today. How about we go chill, do a picnic? Oh, no, I don't like you with this. You need to take me to Ruth Chris. You need to take me to do that. You need to go get me a uh, bag. You need to go get my nails done. And it, it, you got to do that unless you want some of this poo nanny. That's, that, that, those are the terms a lot of these guys are under. And some of them are doing all this and barely even get any poo nanny and get put in a doghouse. So first, you're not even respecting yourself. You don't, even have, you don't even have respect for yourself enough to the point where, okay, you only got, yeah, like I said, they don't even got respect for themselves to the point where you were doing all this stuff to try to get to some of the poonani or some of the, uh, some, some of the uh, kitty or whatever we want to call it. And you still ain't even getting none. She's still giving you a pancake, if that, once a, once a month. I know a guy that's getting some once a month, bro. Once a month from his wife. And when they get you trapped in to the point where they marry you and you, they under the conditions where, OK, you get married to them and you're simping to them while you're marrying them. That means you have to keep doing that same thing that got you into this. So if you try to change that up, that's why you think the divorce rates are starting to go high. And then they go take you for any take you for a source of income because that's all you was in the beginning. That's all those men were in the beginning, guys. So I'm telling you now, embrace the hate. Because you're moving forward. You're having to do stuff that other men ain't going to have to do. Now, I'm not saying that just getting jacked and building your body is, on, is the only thing. But that is definitely the bait. Because think about it. When you're looking at a woman, and I, I'm going to keep drilling this into you. You're looking at a, you're looking at a woman. What's making you say, I want to smash this chick? Shit, seriously. I'm talking about from a distance. You can see a chick way from a distance. You can go like, damn, I want to smash that. What's making you say that? The body the body guys the body is making you say that what do you think is making a chick say she want to smash a man the body from a distance from the body looks matter guys looks matter it don't it don't matter why you think they like prison inmates it's they bodies man it's they bodies it's they physical man they manifestation of who they are of the things they do it looks masculine it looks tough it looks hard it looks stern you want to look like something you want to look like you can bang something you know what I mean? You want to look like you can bang something, bro. So I'm telling you now, guys. Embrace the hate. Let them laugh. Let them snicker. Let them joke. Because they ain't doing nothing but holding the mirror up to themselves and looking at you. Every time you see, they see you, they see a mirror of themselves that they ain't. And that they will never be. And that's a fact. That is a fact. That is something they will never be, guys. Never never be so let them laugh oh you want to laugh about that or oh, you want to look you want to uh you want to me him up me and this guy's in the gym i noticed some guys there's some guys in the gym that solely purpose is to be in there to try to challenge other guys that they see that look fit and try to outdo them i remember this one guy tried to come and try to get me to do pull-ups and stuff like that oh i want to do them like this oh you got that big old back you can do that i'm like bro i'm not here to do all that i'm here to do my workout and i'm here to do my thing you go and mind your own business i appreciate that but hey i ain't on that because i see what you're trying to do 
He 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 tried to walk around like he the alpha male to the gym, and I got him right together. And if you gonna try that, and if you come back at me again, you can get your ass cussed out. And if you want to take it any further, we can do it. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm not I'm not gonna play with nobody. I don't do the back and forth. I don't like talking back and forth. I don't like doing the most. I don't like the like I told y'all before. I don't do the press conference. I go straight to the ring. You see what I'm saying? So anyway. When you in those situations, guys want to constantly try to challenge you. Guys want to try to come and near miss you all the time. Like that happens to me all the time. But you got to keep your head up and you got to keep looking, keep walking straight. And if they want to try to show the bumpy, damn, they run their ass over. I'm not trying to say trying to try to like do that. Like, okay, you can do excuse me situations or whatever. But I'm not saying going out there try to start nothing. But you got to stand your ground out here. Because guys gonna feel like, okay, since uh I can't do this, I ain't got the discipline to get my body to look like this, so I gotta challenge him. I got to beat him up. I got to make him look like he's lesser than what he is, what he looks like. That's the only ground they got to cover. And you can't give them that ground. Can't give them that ground. Because that'll damn near shoot them up. Even though they don't look like nothing. But around a group of women of it, if he punk you, that's going to make you look weak. Because it's going to make you look 10 times weak. Because the women or the, the people in the surrounding area have a higher expectation of you. So if you're not standing up on your 10 as a man, you like I said in my last video, you can't look like a tiger, but you can't fight. Don't look like a tiger and can't kill. Don't look like a lion that can't swipe and, and it can't roar and can't bite down and, and take care of business when it's time. Don't look like a lion and act like a and act like a lamb when it's time for confrontation, when it's time to stand your ground, when it's time to be a man. You got to stand your ground. Embrace the hate at the same time, but we ain't taking no disrespect under any circumstances. But anyway, it's your boy, Noto. Coming to you another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. If you enjoy the content, go to click that like button, go to comment, go to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves if they want to work at it. I'm out. I'm chilling, I really ain't worried about niggas. I promise I keep it a cool and Even though niggas be looking and sounding like me, that boy Morris said I'm not the father. Well, I'm a dog, get vicious when I'm irritated. I might need a shock on my collar. Don't got a filter, just keep it straightforward. I play my position, Andre Iguodala. Ain't no exposing me, I get in D hit or ovary. Don't even go down that road with me. And if a chicken obsessed, I don't need it. I want that Miss Parker with Professor Ogilvy. Bitch ain't no testing me, none of these bitches be stressing me. Capping like they got the best of me. If she go off and get with another man, really, she still gonna be thinking about sex me. Done with these bitches, let's get to this paper. One piece of the pie, said light on the mirror. Chasing that money, Coyote wrote runner, ain't doing no talking just like Tom and Jerry. Ain't no beef or no drama, it won't make no money to me, it's just unnecessary. But if I'm pushed, I'm gonna have to crash out on a nigga, and then I'ma call up as Gary.